Hey, Dan Meyer here back again, and today we're gonna to talk about Instagram. I'm gonna share with you eight tips that you can use, easy steps that you can use to be able to increase your Instagram engagement. And this is super important because as you probably know, Instagram is the place to be, especially if you're trying to grow a business where your primary market is people that are under 40. If they're millennials and especially Gen Z, you need to be on Instagram. So I have a company that we do virtual staffing and we have an Instagram account that we use to share our story. But more importantly, we know how to help our clients use Instagram. Most of our clients are older. They're either baby boomers or they're Gen um, X, like me. Forgot what generation I went. Gen X. Um, and uh, basically, we use Instagram um, to help share the message. So we create content on Instagram. We share in things on Instagram. We help manage Instagram accounts because we know that if you do these eight things, you can really grow your business more so through Instagram than other platforms. Um, step number one is you got to keep up, right? You got to stay with what's current. You got to make sure that you're engaging smartly. You're thinking about how people get engaged and stay engaged. You want to be a hashtag maniac, right? You want to just post everything with a lot of hashtags and powerful hashtags. You want to make sure you have a killer caption that attracts attention. You want to use lots and lots of people pics. Pictures of people are much more impactful than any other kind of imagery. Um, you want to make sure you reply to everything, right? You don't want to leave people hanging. Um, you want to make sure you time your posts correctly, that when you post something, it's the optimal time for your audience to see and engage with it. And most importantly, you want to use Instagram for what it was designed to do, which is tell stories, especially visual stories. So I'm going to talk about those different tips that you can use to really increase your Instagram um, power. So this is based again on my experience with my company. We have virtual assistants to do this. Um, and that's where you start, right? You need to make sure that you're following people, other people. And it's hard to do this on your own. You really should have a virtual assistant who one of their primary job functions is to follow all of your people that are like you, do the same thing with you, your competitors, people in your industry, movers and shakers that do what you do. You want to follow them, right? You want to understand what they're doing and stay current. Instagram is not a place where you can just chart your own course and hope it works. Um, yeah, maybe you get one in a million lucky on that, but most of us, we want to stay ahead of most of the curve. And to do that, we got to stay on top of most of the curve, right? So it's hard to do if we're busy doing other things. So a VA can help you do that. You want to make sure you engage in other people's posts. This is key, right? Instagram has, by some accounts, as much as 10% more um, engagement than Facebook. People are 10% more likely to engage with a post on Instagram than they are on Facebook. Think about that, right? So if you're spending money on Facebook, but your primary audience also uses Instagram, you're much better off using Instagram as your primary tool for marketing. So, and you do this by engaging with other posts. Here's a secret that I'll share with you. One of the tips that we do, we pirate other people's traffic. We do this by when our competitors, influencers in our industry do something, we comment on it, we like it, we share it, we get involved. So people start associating our name, our brand with people they're following, with the influencer, with the competitor, right? You should engage before you post your own stuff, right? Get people seeing your stuff so when they click on your stuff, they're taken to what you just posted, right? So you engage with other people's posts shortly before you, you do your post. And the same thing as you do it after, right? So you never just post and be done. You kind of pre prep the audience for your post and, and post to do the same thing. You want to drive traffic back to you by posting on other people's posts. Make sense? It's really not common sense. People don't think about this. This is one of those secrets that you can do, especially if you have a great virtual system. The next thing that I would talk about um, it's important to my team is how we need to make sure we look for long tail hashtags. A long tail hashtag is strategic, right? It incorporates several different words into one hashtag that covers more things. It gives you both more focus as well as a broader reach, right? Um, every industry, every niche has different brand, different images, different types of things that make it sell. Incorporating some of those things into the hashtag is important. So whatever your industry is, look at the hashtags that are best in that industry and personalize them. Take some of them and use them right away or some of them make your own. But basically think about how to use more strategic hashtagging and hashtag everything. Everything you post should be hashtag. I forget a lot and I kick myself. That's why I have a virtual assistant do it so I don't have to remember. My virtual assistant does it because she's good at it and she always does it. But you need to hashtag everything. 
you can never underestimate the power of your caption, right? That title that we should be putting on every photo, that link to something that should go with every post. We often don't do that. We put a picture, maybe we make a cute comment, maybe we say something flippant or funny or whatever we're trying to do, but we're not thinking about strategically. When we post a photo, there should be a caption and there should be a call to action and there should be a link. And these things, you need to think about what they mean for you. What are your best calls to action? What are the best ways for you to get people to do something once they see something you post? Another tip that I mentioned before, and I'll go deeper into this one now, it's super important. Post pictures of people. You want to just post pictures of people all the time, and they should be people that are engaging. They should be good pictures with good lighting. They should be pictures where there's some kind of cool story that people can easily see in that photo. Posting crappy pictures gets you nowhere. Photos, photos with bad lighting, photos with shadows, photos where you can't make people out, just don't even do it, it's not worth your time, right? Um, you can also, you should avoid using photos of canned or free photos that you get off of uh, image sites. Um, you just want to use ones that you have in your own toolkit, the ones you've done yourself, the ones that people around you have done. Borrow people's photos, use people's photos of people that you know, tag yourself in them, but you shouldn't really use a lot of stock photos. And photos of people that they, people can relate to are super important. Um, you wanna reply all the time. This is again a place where you really need a VA to help you because when you post something and people reply to it, you should be on every comment, every like. It may seem like it's overkill, but when people like something, like something of theirs, right? If someone likes my photo, then I go and like their photos. If somebody posts you know, a cool comment on my thing, I make sure I comment on their stuff, right? You wanna reply straight away. And most importantly, you wanna start seeing who are your top engagers, you know, who are the ones that are your people that are badge worthy, and point that out, reward them, make a big deal about it, make them feel special, and they'll do more to influence your brand. They'll become a brand ambassador for you. But this starts by replying right away. Friendly comments keep the ball rolling. Never forget that, right? A super important thing to do, and this is again something you should have a VA do, is track the best time for your post. There are tools on Instagram, free tools you can use to look and see when are the most commonly viewed posts. When is your audience most likely to look at what you post? That's when you should post, right? You should know this. Is it 11 o'clock a.m. every morning when people are thinking about where to go for lunch and you post something that gets them thinking about, wow, I want to like do this at my lunch break? Or are you doing something that's every Friday afternoon, you want to drive them to do something over the weekend, so you post at a certain time on Friday afternoon. You should know these things based on the data. And most importantly, you should post accordingly, right? You can use auto posters where you post things, you schedule things, but really the best thing to do, because you have that person that can do the engagement pre and post post, is you should have a VA do it, right? A VA's primary job should be to build engagement around your posts on Instagram. You should know when to do that, and if you can't do it because you're too busy, you can't consistently post the same time every day, but you should be, that's when a VA does it for you. It frees you up from having to be on your computer thinking of things to post every day at 11 o'clock for your audience. You have a VA do that. Um, the next thing I want to do is really draw attention to your stories, right? Instagram stories are cool. Like Facebook has tried to do some of this story stuff and people got into it, but Instagram's better at it, right? Um, Instagram is designed to do visual storytelling. And that's really what happens, right? Great stories happen to those who can tell them. Right, so if you're telling a great story, great stories will happen to you. If you want your company, your brand, your business, your passion to be somebody else's passion, you have to start with telling a story. That's Instagram, right? So we can help you manage your Instagram stories. We can help you build your brand. We can help you share across Instagram, other social media, and we do it with consistency. We do it with clarity and we build certainty in what people are gonna get when they start following you on Instagram. And that is key. So if you wanna get started, there's one of two things you can do. First, you can go to sonicva.com. It's S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com. Send us a message telling us what it is that you need help with on your Instagram. Do you need people to help post things, create things, share things, engage in things. What is it that we can do to help lighten your load and give you more time so you can create more content, you can share more stuff in person and let us take care of what happens on Instagram. The other thing you can do is text the word data to 26786. That's data, D-A-T-A -A, to 26786. You text that, you'll get a, a form back. Fill out the form, just tell us again what you want to have a VA help you with. We can help with all the things that we mentioned in this in this talk. Everything I talked about is something you can have a VA do. You can have pieces of it done. But bottom line is you should not be doing what you do alone. You should be having a VA do it 
for you. So that's my talk for today. I hope it helped. Um, basically, Instagram is the place to be. And if you're there, make sure you're doing it right. So put these tips into practice. Thank you for your time. Now go out there and have a wonderful day.